नमस्ते ऑल द ब्यूटिफुल ब्यूटिफुल सोल्स आई रूपा खनाल योर मीडियम फॉर टारा गाइडेंस वेलकम्स ऑल द ब्यूटिफुल सोल्स ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल वाइट तारा टारा रीडिंग सो ब्यूटिफुल सोल्स टुडे ऑन वाइट तारा टारा रीडिंग वी हैव कम अप विद पिक कार्ड रीडिंग एंड टॉपिक फॉर टुडे रीडिंग इज वॉट आर योर रियल पावर्स द इनर पावर्स what is your receptivity from the cosmos what has the universe blessed you with so because the christmas and the new years eve is nearing you can consider this as a realization from the cosmos to the beautiful souls what your inner powers are how much you are gifted what are your talents so these are the four piles beautiful souls pile 1 with multicolor pearls and on pile 2 i have put turquoise on pile 3 natural pearls and on pile 4 natural amethyst stones so whichever natural stone you holds your energies is your pile for today's pick a card reading keep it simple do not get confused pause the video if needed okay and you can connect to the energies of the pictures on the cards the colors of the natural gems stones or you can connect to the time sections which i'm going to pin in the description box as well in the comment section so just whichever pile is holding your energies initially is your pick a card reading uh for today and if you are still confused what i suggest is to pause the video take a deep breathing then you can proceed with your uh, chosen pile and you can skip the rest piles beautiful souls so let's get started let us proceed today's pick a card reading with the beautiful souls those who have chosen the multi color pearls to know to explore what are your powers what has the cosmos the universe is giving you and how much you are receptive to receive all the gifts of the nature okay so let us flip the cards to the camera the first card is time to move on followed by the second power yes and blessed change and the last card i have here is the rest So beautiful souls those who have chosen pile 1 i can sense that your anxiety levels are quite high now because there is confusion you are distorted your thoughts are distorted so most of the times you know what are your powers or you have kind of hint of what are your gifts but you are doubting so you have this self doubt uh sometimes it is yes flowing in your thoughts and sometimes it is no so because the yes card has come up in the pile what you have to understand beautiful souls significantly is that yes what all your intuitions are conforming you is a yes so don't think they are illusion so your power lies in your intuitive thoughts right so if there is this confusion confusion regarding yes or no always trust on your intuitions always trust on your heart's instinct so beautiful souls your power your gift your receptivity from the cosmos is your intuitive thoughts so if you are thinking about something right now if there is some kind of confusion regarding some questions regarding um some situations or circumstances regarding the ambitions achievements desires and you want to receive the answer in a clear yes or no so your gift your power is if your intuition says yes then definitely it's a yes otherwise it is 
clearly depends on your intuitive thoughts. So if you can see here, look at the picture, a beautiful mermaid. All the cards have got mermaid because this is a magical mermaid deck. So look at the expression of this particular mermaid. She is like completely in a peaceful mind. So you have to ask your heart's instinct whenever you need a clear answer in yes or no. Your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So this is truly, truly an empowering gift. So you are very receptive to the er energies ar around you, beautiful souls. So this is the first power. So this is the first card uh, in the pile. Time to move on. And this is giving an intuition, a feel that this change is coming into your life which is trying to plunge you from all your past memories to which you have been clinging all the time. So when you go to bed, the last person you remember is someone who has given you either immense love or immense hatred. Right, beautiful souls? So that thought will change from maybe today onwards, the time, the moment you have been watching this pick a card reading. So this is time to move on, right? So the cosmos is giving you the blessing, the gift, the power so that you can come out of everything which you don't want to happen in your life and you can move ahead smoothly in your life's journey. So it's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in. And you will be surprised the way you can adapt to the changes happening in your life from now on because the cosmos and your inner power is giving you so much receptivity so that you can adapt to all the changes to improvise your life's journey and everything will start up new and fresh. Okay, beautiful souls. And the blessed change. This card is so much in resonance with the first card. Time to move on a blessed change. So changes are uh, coming into your life as a gift and which will empower you from within and that is a major life change brings you great blessings. So what all you desire from your life, you wanted to manifest from your life, it could be your ambitions, professional achievements, it could be your personal relationships, it could be something uh, spiritual right because mermaids are spiritual beings so it could be your spiritual journey so whatever it is a major life change is coming onto your way which is bringing you great blessings so this is one of the powers one of the destiny one of the blessings from the universe coming into your way beautiful souls so you are about to experience that you are going to get yourself completely immersed in that divine feeling in that divine light if you can look at the moment here on the card she is like upside down and look at the expression uh, on her face she is, it's like most 
content. She is happy with whatever is around her and she is taking a deep dive into the divine light. So this is your power. You are so much receptive to the changes coming into your life and this is going to turn out to be the biggest gifts, biggest blessings in your life, beautiful souls. Those who have chosen pile one. And the last card we have here is rest. If you remember in the beginning, I told you I can see that beautiful souls, those who have chosen pile one, are distorted right now in their thoughts, uh, in their emotions. And that is building up a bit of anxiety in them. So the best way to beat out anxiety and stress is to take rest, right? So when you take rest, you can bounce back with your real energies. You can revive back your energies, right, beautiful souls. And uh, the concept of rest is depending on you. It could be a short vacation, it could be a sun bath, it could be singing, it could be playing an in instrument, it could be reading an old ancient script or it could be just an ample sleep or it could be a foot massage. So what is your perception of rest will bring you to revive back your energies so that you can make a comeback into the life of your dreams, beautiful souls. So you have been working hard, take a nap and get some rest. The card is suggesting that sleep could be the best way you can revive back those exuberant energies which will make your life more easier. So rest is coming into your way as a gift so that you can connect to yourself and to the outer cosmos, beautiful souls. So if uh, I need to summarize or recap what are the gifts for the beautiful souls, definitely it is uh, a gift which is helping you come out of your past, the gray shades of your past and your intuitive thoughts, your heart's instinct is one of your gifts. So always rely on your intuitions and you are about to experience uh, surprise changes in your life and you will be able to adapt to all those changes very very easily and this is going to be the biggest blessings or gifts coming into your way and to beat back beat your anxiety and stress levels you need to take rest you need to take nap because working is very important but uh, your perception towards uh, healthy work will begin if you take if you allow yourself to rest so with that we come to an end with the beautiful souls those have chosen pile one i hope this is going to resonate with your gifts coming into your way these gifts are the gifts which you are already receptive to the natural powers which are coming from within you beautiful souls so let us wrap up the pile one and let us move with the pile two the beautiful souls those have chosen the natural turquoise to explore what are their powers what are their gifts what are the blessings coming onto their way or into their way from the cosmos from the nature from the universe so time to flip the first blessing Playtime. Okay, so you are very, very adventurous, uh, beautiful souls. And accept heaven's help is the second gift, followed by the divine magic. And last blessing is stay optimistic. So beautiful souls, those who have chosen pile one, I think you have the energies of uh, like an innocent child, a soft, feathery, like, uh, gushy and gooey kind of feelings and you are someone uh, no matter what is your age you are someone who is ready to turn everything into a play for you uh, it's sweet pleasant play so you are someone 
who turns everything into playtime. Okay, it is like nothing is very serious in your life. Everything is like play. The dolphin's life is considered to be the most playful life because dolphins and if you measure the stress levels uh, in dolphins, the strategies, uh, the statistics, I'm sorry, the statistics reveals that dolphins uh, are the life or the animals which are absolutely social. If you look at their social life, they are very much socializing and they are the happiest beings created by the supreme, the God. Okay, so you have those energies. So that is your power, real power. That is your receptivity, which is coming to you as a blessing, as a gift from the cosmos, from the nature, playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and manifestations. So all the miracles you have created in your life, all the manifestations which you have created in your life, which you have brought in your life is all because of your content nature, happy nature, right beautiful souls so that is the power of you and i am sensing that beautiful souls those are watching pile two uh, you already know this you all already know what your power is you already know it by self-realization and you must have also heard it from your friends your family that they really love the zeal in your a zeal in your personality you know the zest in your nature like your playful character they love your high energies all the time and people might even ask you like how do you manage to be so energetic all the time like you're talking and you're dancing and you're singing and you're smiling and we have never seen the tired or um like frown side of you. We have never seen a freckle on your forehead. So how do you manage to do all this? So if you have been um, not considering or underestimating this joyful nature of yours, beautiful souls, through today's speaker card reading, you have to consider it as one of the most valuable one of the most precious blessings, gifts and power the cosmos has blessed you with. That is your happy nature. Okay, so life is nothing serious. It's just an adventure. It's just a journey. And if you try to, if you decide to complete this journey like a playtime then it will be really really like dream come true okay beautiful souls next is accept heaven's help so this shows that how much connected you are how much receptive you are to the universe to the cosmos to the energies for you god is pure energy because you yourself are such an exuberant person. You yourself are such a happy person. So it is possible that you are very religious. You are highly spiritual. It is possible that you connect to the signals from the cosmos, from the universe, from even a little chirp of a bird, from even like a color it could be patterns numbers so you are highly receptive to all the signals from around signals coming to you from your surroundings from the nature from the cosmos and you are in a receptive position that is why you are able to accept heaven's help whenever you you are praying for yourself or someone else because i find that you are an empath you really get involved 
into the pain you can understand the pain and suffering of other people as well so whenever you pray for something or someone or for yourself or your family friends that prayer is instantly accepted because that is the receptivity of you to the pure energy to the god to the supreme because your intentions are pure so whenever you are praying or asking for help directly the help is coming from the heaven so you are in the most highly receptive modes in terms of transforming energies and understanding the signals so you have prayed for help so get out of the way and let heaven help you so always believe always trust and do not let your belief and trust shake on the help coming to your way from the heaven beautiful soul so that is the blessing the power the receptivity for the beautiful souls those who have chosen the pile too and the next gift the next magic is the divine magic itself so extra magical energy surrounds your situations situation right now expect miracles because you are a happy person everything happening in your life is smooth you know for many of us the life's journey is really entangling really struggling full of ups and downs and full of pros and cons but for you your life's journey is a divine magic and that is an absolute gift that is an absolute blessing beautiful souls when you look at here the mermaid is in conversation with a fairy and you are strongly connected to the moon cycles to the stars to the skies to the water so you are a truly an amazingly blessed soul right so when you have been watching this reading in the meanwhile or after you complete watching this reading if you recollect some past memories where you have been surprised and then you have consoled yourself or then you have told yourself it's just a coincidence or something when you think and that is like that came true you might consider that is just the matter of timing you know it's just coincidence or it's just an illusion like uh, i can't like it is it is it would be stupid of me if i think that this thing happened because of me so all those memories it has happened because of you because there is magic inside you because you are a pure soul because your intentions are pure because you are a innocent soul because you are so much in receptivity to the cosmos to your surroundings so there is magic coming out of you for yourself for the people around you for your family for your friends so there is that extra magical energy inside you and you must have also have got compliments you definitely must have got compliments on this that everything the happiness around in this party or in this get together is because of you or when there are some people or friends or family members sitting uh, celebrating or talking or in a discussion with your entry they would uh, compliment you saying that you know everything was boring before you came and now everything is so like exuberant happy and everything is so joyful so you have that magic to suppress the gray shades suppress the negativity and with your aura with your positivity you can create the magic wherever you go because magic is within you that is the divine magic the power the blessing the gift coming to you in your life from the universe from the cosmos so that's your power that's your uh, special gift 
okay and the last blessing or the last power is stay optimistic you whatever life throws at you whatever society throws at you whatever circumstances throws at you you have that power to make the best out of it and that is because of your purity of your receptivity of your magic so you are an optimistic person full of positive energies and wherever you go look at the picture the earth is green and the sky is golden so and there is this mystic land if you can see here so you have that ability to stay positive to stay optimistic and nothing can turn you bring the negative thoughts come in in your mind or in your heart so your dreams are coming true don't quit right before the miracle occurs and if there are some dreams which you desire to manifest which are not yet fulfilled don't give up don't underestimate your powers because the cosmos is coming with this guidance the tarot are guiding you or suggesting you sincerely advising you that don't quit right before the miracle occurs so that means miracle is about to be manifested and it is possible because we are also in the energies of the christmas it is possible that you will see that happen with the christmas with the new year's eve before the year 2020 wraps up so beautiful souls all your dreams are about to turn real and that is all because of your optimistic nature and the tarots are guiding you to stay optimistic which i believe you will so to revise your powers your gifts your blessings your receptivity is the playtime the 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 outlook of yours for the life's journey as a playtime and you have a strong receptivity with the energies around you and whenever you pray instantly the results are seen or shown and the help comes into your way directly from the heaven from the angels from the pure energies and you have the divine magic within yourself the gift of extra magic in yourself which turns which the negative energies into the positive energies and your optimistic nature is your biggest gift the absolute blessing coming in your life from the cosmos from the universe which is helping you to manifest all your dreams and if there are some dreams which are still to be fulfilled this is the time you will be experiencing all the unmanifested to the manifested so stay optimistic so that is about the beautiful souls those have chosen pile two i sincerely believe that i'm able to convey the messages of the tarot to the beautiful souls to bring in that hope and a clearer vision so with that let us move to the beautiful souls those have chosen the pile three the natural pearls to see to know to get revealed what are your powers what are your blessings how much you are in receptivity with the cosmos with the nature so the first blessing the first gift is the protection that's really wonderful positive energy and the third blessing is the empowerment and the last card we have here is the weight card so beautiful souls those who have chosen pile three i can feel the young energies so you must be under the age of 25 most of you and you are still in the protection of your guardian especially your mother that's really really so adorable if you look at the picture this is absolutely divine a mother mermaid has held her baby mermaid tightly in her arms and she is 
ready to protect her child from all the dangers lurking around him or her. So either you are being protected under your mother's warmth, under her love, under her protection, under her guidance, or you yourself is a mother and you are playing a role of the mother for your children. So it's all about protection. It could be that you are protected from someone who is like a mother figure to you, a guardian figure to you, especially this is all about your umbilical connection with your mother because there is a moon here um, in the sky and moon is again your relationship with your mother. So she is overprotective about you as a child and if you are a mother you are overprotective towards your children and this position is something which is creating a heavenly relationship between you and your children between you and your mother so protection is your first gift first blessing first power you are protective towards your children towards the children towards your family right so you your loved ones and your positions are safe and protected by heaven and if you have some kind of doubt or some kind of confusion so as uh, for their future for their academics for their careers for their personal relationships or when they are not with you the heaven the cosmos the universe is bringing you this energy so you get ready to receive it that all your loved ones all your family members especially your children you have with you which you don't want to lose it could be your reputation it could be your uh, family business it could be your personal relationship it could be your materialistic uh, assets your house your luxuries it could be something uh, which you have with you right now that will go nowhere right it will be with you so do not worry and surrender yourself be receptive that you are protected by your mother and you will protect as a mother as a wife as a daughter and you will be able to play all your roles perfectly right to protect all your loved ones all your positions and they are protected by the heaven so that is the power your power lies in your protection beautiful souls those have chosen the pile three positive energies again here if you look here dolphins uh, nah. It could be, uh, what are dolphins together called? A group of, I will, I will use the word group because I'm not getting that uh, collective noun, the word which describes a group of dolphins. So if you can see, the group of dolphins are uh, absolutely immersed in the divine light coming from the water. And there is something light coming from the earth as well from down as well as from uh, the upside so these dolphins are happy and dolphins love to uh, swim or love to be in a group in a family and they are the most joyous beings created by the supreme the pure energies you know so positive energy is one of your gifts one of your powers beautiful souls and this card says that surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity right so you have to be receptive to everything positive around you and if you think that something is heavy something there are some shades which are gray it is better to avoid them right and you have that power you have that gift so that you can keep yourself pulled away from the negativity so that is your power your power your gift your blessing is 
your ability to connect to the positive energies. Right, beautiful souls? And the next blessing coming is the empowerment. And this empowerment could be because of your receptivity towards the positive energies. And when you look at your, uh, the picture here, uh, there is the, the underwater wall. There is a queen mermaid, I can call. And she is guiding the other mermaids. And look at the light behind her head. And this could also mean that your third eye chakra is perfectly balanced, perfectly in alignment to the other chakras. So you can feel some kind of sensation between your eyebrows or uh, on your crown because both uh, the light is reflecting all over her head. So this is your empowerment and you're more powerful than you realize it's safe for you to be powerful so beautiful souls it is natural with most of us that we underestimate our powers we underestimate our natural gifts which comes from the universe we underestimate it to such an extent that we completely think think that it's worthless you know it has no value like why okay protection uh, what is that? What, what is uh, big about it? Everybody protects their family. Everybody protects their children. And everybody wants to stay, po stay positive. So what is uh, the gift? Everybody wants it, but only few can do it. And you are amongst uh, one of the beautiful souls. Right, beautiful souls. Everybody wants good for... Everybody understands the difference between good and bad. Good and bad. But... Uh, more, only, only few of us can get connected with the good, with, with the pure energies and that is your gift. So this is the time you realize how powerful you are because you haven't yet realized your real powers. You haven't yet uh, been thankful to all the powers all the gifts all the blessings uh, the receptivity coming into your life from the cosmos from the universe so you are more powerful than you realize it's safe for you to be powerful so you can guide most of the people around you in your family in your friend circle in your society people look up to you as a role model and you have that true wisdom I'm not talking about intelligence. I'm not talking about your qualification. You have that true wisdom and probably this had come to you through the life experience, through the experiences you have been uh, thrown to in your life. What you have learned from your life's experiences, you can share it with others. So you have got real wisdom, true wisdom, and that is your power and that will empower you if you are a woman that will empower not only you but also all the women who are around you who look up to you and if you are a man you have uh, this power so that you can release many of the women from their struggling life from their entangled life, from their miseries, from their anxieties. So you can turn out to be that torch to show most, many of the women the right path. So that is about your gift, empowerment, and that's an absolutely wonderful gift, wonderful power you possess. So beautiful souls, the last uh, gift or the last blessing is weight. This is uh, this is this looks to me like a, like a mollusk, uh, like a seashell. There is this, uh, there is the shell here, and this is the uh, insect or the organism inside the shell and this is the pearl so this is your head is the pearl your head is the jewel so this card says that don't rush into actions right now 
Bide your time for better results. So beautiful souls, it is possible that because you are uh, uh, watching today's reading, now you know what are your powers, what are your gifts, what are your blessings and how much you are receptive with the cosmos, with the universe. Now you want to do something immediately. Now you want to jump into something instantly. So the card is saying this is a suggesting card, an advice card, uh, an alarm card, which is telling you that wait and why to wait because this is not the right time right if you do something right now the ideas which you have inside you which you got instantly something spark inside your mind and you know that if you put that into practice definitely you will uh, be successful you you will be you will be able to manifest what you want from life it could be your career profession academics relationship but if you want much more better results, you have to wait, right? So there is a saying in Hindi, it says that sabr ka fal meetha hota hai. Okay, the fruits of anticipation are always sweet and juicy, right? So if you want to have better results, if you want to get a hundred on hundred, you have to wait. Don't rush into actions right now. Bide your time for better results. You will know it automatically when is the right time to take the action, right? So wait for that time. And who will tell you the right time? Your power from inside you, your instinct, your heart instincts. Okay, the positive energies, everything will connect you to... Uh, give you the message convey you the message that this is the right time right beautiful souls so that is about the beautiful souls those have chosen pile three your power lies in your protection towards your family towards your children and the protection you get from your mother your positive energy the ability of yours to connect to the positivity and avoid the negativity the power inside you is uh, like a powerhouse. There is a powerhouse inside you which you still don't realize. But now you have known it and you know what to do and how to do and how powerful you are so that you can change not only your life but you can transform the life of many of the women. Women, you could be a man or woman but your emphasis would be to... Uh, change transform the life of the women around you it could be girls around you and if you have to do something if you are thinking to do something if there are some new ideas flowing some new uh, projects uh, coming into your uh, into your mind you have to wait for the right time so that you can get a hundred on hundred better results so i strongly believe that this is very powerful blessings and gifts coming for the beautiful souls those have chosen pile three with that we come to an end with the pile three beautiful souls let us move to the last pile that is the natural amethyst the most spiritual gemstones coming from the mother nature mother earth let us see what are your powers what are your gifts how much you are blessed with the receptivity to the things and energies around you so beautiful souls the first gift is let yourself receive followed by break free the next blessing is the treasure chest wow and the friendship lovely so if i can um say something before we get into the reading is these are the best cards by far for today's pick a card reading if we compare it to the first second third pile because i can feel the energies are really really very high so beautiful souls the first blessing is let yourself receive okay so I can sense that beautiful souls those have chosen pile four you don't believe in miracles and you think that everything comes through hard work and in your, your case 
hard work is a bit more you have to work extra hard if others are receiving those things by working for one year you have worked for five years to receive this easily and when some surprises some coincidence some miracles happen to you it becomes difficult for you to accept and you are someone who never ever go out and ask for help except for the god however difficult situations you are in you have never been out to ask for help but this card says that you have to allow yourself to receive because you are not asking people want to help you it it could be people it could be the energies it could be uh, someone whom you know it could be someone whom you don't know someone who is uh, away from you thousand miles away from you so you if they want to connect to your energies if they are sending something if they are sending uh, vibrations through energies because it i strongly sense that it is all about the vibrations it is all about the energies so if somebody is sending you some kind of vibrations and frequencies you have that gift to receive it right so it could be like you are into healing you're healing someone right beautiful souls and do not think that why me because you are the chosen one that is your destiny that is your gift that is your power that you can directly connect to the vibrations and frequencies of the energies sent to you from the physical things and from the life it could be from plants from animals from people so you can receive their energies so that you can heal them you can transform them through your work through your words through your writings through your touch uh through your thoughts right beautiful souls so do not feel guilty about it you know do not feel bad about it like why me because you are the chosen one you are the star seed you are an empath you are highly spiritual if you believe in spirituality you will be able to connect to what the card is suggesting instantly and if you are someone who is not yet into the spiritual journey but i strongly intuit that most of the beautiful souls those of chosen pile 4 are very very highly spiritual so you can connect to this card that there is so much of downloading happening so much of downloading happening in your subconscious mind you might be aware about it you might not be aware about it but consciously or unconsciously you have the glimpses the signs coming to you the signals coming to you through your dreams or through numbers through words through some some colors but definitely there is so much of receiving happening and that is your power that is your gift so let yourself receive right say to yourself yes i will let myself receive what is being sent to you it could be a uh, materialistic help it could be the energies the vibrations the frequencies the thoughts coming to me what has been sent to me i am receiving it and i will receive it and i will let myself to receive it so you are highly receptive that is your power that is your gift that is your blessing coming to the cosmos so your receptivity is i don't have the words you are just a bit or a foot or an inch away from opening the doors for the higher realms the spiritual realms so allow others to give you loving care receive without guilt or apologies i told you it could be anything coming from anyone whom you know or whom you don't know and it is all about 
the transformation of energies for healing. Okay, beautiful souls. So that's really, really highly... I'm really highly privileged to do reading for the beautiful souls those have chosen pile for through today's pick a card reading beautiful souls. I don't know whether I am eligible to suggest you something but these are uh, just my role as a tarot card reader because I am conveying you the messages of the cards, the energies of the cards but I would really love to have a word from you so please connect to me beautiful souls through the comments so that I will be feeling blessed. Next card or the next gift is break free. Try different ventures and experience as a way to grow and learn. So I told you nothing has come into your life easily so but the things will change because you are highly in a receptive mode and and this is your power this is your gift this is your blessing now you will be able to break all the conditions of the walls of conditioning it could be your morals it could be your customs values so what is not needed for the well-being of humankind you will throw it in the dustbin and you will be able to emerge out more strongly now to break yourself free and realization of freedom is an absolute bliss which will end all your suffering on this very planet which will be able to take you out of from this circle of life and death so try different ventures and experience as a way to grow and learn this is your gift your gift is your growth and your learning process which has begun uh, with your receptivity and now you can try different different ventures and different different things different different experiments and you will feel everything new this is the time to get into new experience so that it will allow you to grow and learn so growing and learning is your power is your gift is your blessing coming from the cosmos from the nature so allow yourself to grow allow yourself to learn and trust yourself trust your heart instincts because i find that you are highly highly intelligent there is all the information imprinted inside your soul beautiful souls so do it what you have been thinking to do for a very very long time but you weren't able to do it because of all your boundaries and limitations and conditioning this is the time to break free and this is a time to allow yourself to grow and learn so that is your gift gift to grow and gift to learn from the universe so the universe is your mentor right and the universe lies inside you so you yourself are a mentor for yourself and the treasure chest so much alignment in the cards the magical alignment the divine alignment treasure chest is your next gift is your next next power beautiful souls those have chosen pile four an unforeseen windfall of new abundance come to you now so I know that it will be hard for you to believe all this but once it start happens and once you start believing things will fasten up, things will speeden up, manifestations will come real and you will then have a strong belief in the unforeseen, right? So there is a windfall coming into your way a shower it could be a windfall of wealth it could be a windfall of good health it could be a windfall of manifesting your spiritual gifts your psychic abilities so abundance 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 you cannot imagine that this much of abundance can be coming into anyone's life so you are about to open that chest open that treasure okay and you will it will become a biggest surprise it will it is like a biggest absolutely 
the most astonishing and most spectacular spectacular is the word yes spectacular is the feeling of expression on her face who is opening the chest the treasure chest so believe in the energies pure energies the unseen energies because they are bringing you bringing for you an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now there's an exclamatory mark here now it could be right now it could be right today it could be right at this moment and you are watching this pick a card reading with a purpose because the divine the pure energies wants you to understand that how much receptive you are and what is your role as a star seed what is your role as a spiritual being for yourself and for many of the aspirants many thousands and thousands of the aspirants right so you have to start belief start believing so that everything is manifested even if you don't believe i strongly sense that something magical and something spectacular is going to happen to you today a big surprise an absolute way you will start believing in the unmanifested unforeseen is coming to your way right today and that is my sincere wish i pray that you start believing in all the magic in all the power the gifts the nature the cosmos has destined you for beautiful souls and the last card is the friendship you are truly blessed with everything you have the love of the people whom you don't know whom you have never seen just connecting through the energies you are now about to break free make yourself free from all the conditioning from all the unwanted and you are about to experience an unforeseen windfall of abundance which will help you manifest everything you desire and you are absolutely blessed i would call it a golden buzzer i would call it a diamond buzzer i would call it the most precious mm, gift one could have in their life that is friendship in this is that of shri krishna and the sudhama right they are the real friends and nothing can come close to that friendship but you are also very much fortunate and friendship is your power is your gift you have really good friends who are with you all the time in this lifetime and it could be like this is the connection of past lives it could be a twin flame i'm strongly feeling because here are the two girls who look alike who look alike so this could be a twin flame uh, friendship a twin flame energy connecting you uh, in this lifetime serving as a friend and it could be that you have more than two friends or more than three friends and it could be your connection it could be even your pet your pet could be your connection if you are a man who is watching this video this reading it could be your pet and if you are a woman or a girl who is watching this reading beautiful souls it could be someone uh, a friend from your childhood who is just like you uh, with whom you share a twin flame connection and it could be uh, also that one of your friends is not in your contact because she has turned her face the other side and she is uh thinking something maybe she is sad because you are not in connection with your friend so just close your eyes and see what faces uh pops up uh, in your conscious mind when you think about your friends and they are your real friends and you have to treasure them throughout this life because they will help you with their sincere um uh, guidance advice and they love you they are your real friends there is no selfishness there is nothing hidden behind their friendship it is pure friendship pure love pure connection and you're really really blessed to have good friends and i'm sensing that you have uh, the friend list could be more than four more than 
for and there is also uh, there is also a connection of yours with someone uh, very very uh, elder to you in the age because there is someone here like these are uh, these four are the children there's a pet and there is an adult man walking with something on his shoulder so it could be your connection with an elderly family member uh, though they are related to you they are more of kind of friends to you because you have learned so many things from them and there is also an indication of a twin flame energy in this card so that is also your friend uh, with one of your friends is your twin flame energy it could be uh, your connection with your pet so i am sensing that that you are connected to one of your friends you're uh, in touch with them it could be through your conversations it could be um, not a direct contact and with others with the the other friends you are not in contact because they are far from you so you could be far from them but uh, they are in your thoughts and you are in their thoughts and you are always ready to help each other so it is my suggestion that please do contact because these friends are the precious pearls in your life beautiful souls one of your friends is your twin flame energies and you have strong connection to the nature to the animals so that is the true friendship is one of your absolute and biggest powers gifts and blessings coming to you from the nature from the universe so beautiful so souls friendship is the relationship which cannot be expressed through words it's just the pure feeling so that is about the gifts of the beautiful souls those who have chosen pile for your powers is lies in your receptivity connecting receiving things and energies from the people things whom you know or you, whom you don't know and transforming them for the better future of both of you all both the parties and your ability to break free from the conditioning and this uh, your biggest gift power is to uh, is your growth and the learning process so an unforeseen treasure chest coming into your life bringing in abundance materialistic or it could be spiritual and the absolute blessing is the friendship the friends in your life so treasure everything you have beautiful souls i hope this is going to resonate connect me through the comments i already can feel the energies of all the beautiful souls those who have been watching today's reading so please do subscribe white tara tara reading and if you've already subscribed thank you very much for all your love and appreciation so take good care of yourself until next time astu namaste